Today, I'd like to show you how to get multiple distance measurements out of a single sonar sensor. I was surprised that this is not more common in low-cost sonar sensors given how simple it was to get working. I was not able to find any sensors capable of this below a few hundred dollars, but the cost of parts required seems to be only a few dollars plus a teensy. Here you can see what I got working. The sensor is able to detect multiple returns from several objects on my desk. The plot on the display shows the distance along the x-axis and the reflection strength along the y-axis. As I move my hand, you can see that the return at the middle distance moves, but the other returns don't. This is really useful for robotics applications where you may want to ignore parts of a robot chassis or determine extra information about an obstacle. In an ultrasonic sensor, a ping is sent out, and then the sensor waits for a response from the closest object it is pointed at. In the case of the SRO4 sensors I am using, this is done with a comparator. If we want to get multiple returns, we can tap into the output of the step or read the raw analog output. I chose to read the raw analog output because the internal ADC is fast enough and then everything can be defined in software. The SR04 ultrasonic sensor is extremely popular and cheap, so I was able to get several of them, and they have already been reverse engineered by others. Someone has already determined the schematic, so that makes it easy to find the signals on the board. The code side uses the ADC in a sort of free running mode, so it can sample quickly. I set it up to sample 16 bits and the maximum sample rate, which turns out to be around 440 kilohertz. The TNC code starts a measurement and then reads about 2,000 samples from the ADC. These samples form the original signal and include lots more information than the original SRO4 output. I wrote some code which thresholds the RMS amplitude of the samples, allowing the TNC to take into account that the signal is a 40 kilohertz sine wave. Here you can see all the detections plotted over time. Both my hand and the box behind it are visible in the distance graph. Distance is shown along the y-axis and the sample number is along the x-axis. You can see that it works pretty well. As I move my hand, the detection for it moves, and the box detection stays pretty steady. All of the processing for this was done in real time on the Teensy, meaning the Teensy just sent out the detected object distances to my computer. I also made a debug mode where the Teensy can output the raw data instead for more complex processing. I hope that you found this interesting. I thought it was cool to put together some common components and start to mimic the functionality of something far more expensive. If you have any thoughts about this project or ideas for other ones, please let me know in the comments below.